One of the challenges with nonlinear editing, including DaVinci Resolve, is managing your content, particularly if you're doing multiple projects and you have an inordinate amount of uh, content. One little tip that I've developed is to, and it's probably not you, somebody's done it before, but I was trying to think of a good way of organizing the bins within this section within DaVinci Resolve. I can right click here and create new bins ad nauseum, and I can create a whole sort of hierarchical structure of bins in there. So what I thought I would do was to create a master, let me just go to here if I may, and I'll just drop this in here, just bear with me. If I just get that to there, you can see I've created a project master folder here on my hard drive. It's just in on one of the hard drives. If I double click into it, you see I've um, had subfolders here of assets, clips, music, special effects and extras. You can name them how you want and have as many as you want. Now, one way to um, replicate this is to simply just right click, uh, copy and paste. I've now got a copy of this structure and I can name this the same as my project. So this particular project here is called bin structure, as you can see up here. So I'm going to name that bin structure. Basically what I've done is I've, I've renamed this to the same name as the project. You can develop your own naming uh, structure. It, the key thing there is to be able to track your content project by project basis, which will allow you to work within those projects and be able to migrate stuff across to other projects. If you have a consistent naming system, that's entirely up to you which ones you choose. So what I can do is I can drag this into this master section here. You can see automatically it's taken up the naming of the high, the, the top level of that bin which is the bin structure. And then I've got the subfolders, the sub bins underneath here. And if you want, you can go in and amend those at some point later on. That's entirely up to you. So that's a good way of creating that structure. Once you've done that, then what you can then do is you can go to your media content or whatever content you want to manage. Now, if I select the two uh, video clips here, which are these two here, I can drag these over here into the clip section here. And you can see, I'll just, um, place them into the clip section, they've gone there. And if I want the other assets to be placed into here, what I'll do is I'll drop them into there, get this to return here, and I will uh, select the other assets. So I'll select this JPEG, this JPEG, that JPEG, PNG, that PNG. I don't want those, so let me get rid of those. I need to get rid of that one and that one. Gotta be careful how you select. And I can drag, drag these into assets here. Okay, so I've dropped them into there. So you can see I've now got my clips in there and my assets in there. And then you can proceed to work with those within the context of uh, your the way you org you're organizing your, um, your structure. And that's basically all you need to do. If I need to then go back and create a new a new project, I'll simply copy again that master structure again and drag that in and complete that by bringing the, the necessary content over here. Hope that's been useful and it's fairly straightforward and for me it's worked. You can develop your own uh, method of doing that. Be interested if there are more efficient methods, there probably are, put them in the comments and I'll be happy to um, uh, pass them on to other people who see this video. In the meantime, thanks for staying uh, to the end of the video and I look forward to presenting another video in the near future and you guys and gals take care. Bye for now.